So why do people sleep better in a cold room? If, if I could talk my wife into it, I probably would like to sleep in a dark, cool cave. But your temperature in your environment affects this hormone called melatonin. Melatonin is a sleep hormone. It's also affected by darkness. So when it gets dark out, it increases and you go to sleep. It turns into serotonin, which also contributes to sleep. And so a cooler temperature will increase melatonin. And melatonin actually causes your body to run cooler at night. In fact, when you have an insomniac, someone who cannot sleep, their temperature is usually hotter than people that can sleep. So something you may want to try if you have sleeping problems or you want to improve your sleep quality is adjusting the temperature of the room to between 60 to 68 degrees Fahrenheit or 15 to 20 degrees Celsius. Now, what I do in the winter, I'm not suggesting you do this, I actually turn my heater off in my room. And so it gets pretty cold, but I sleep great when it's cold. And so the other thing that can affect your sleeping is that the memory foam. I do not like memory foam. It just, it contains the heat and it's, uh, it's very difficult and it's very difficult for me to sleep. Um, if you have memory foam, either get rid of it or get a gel top just to cool you down. Um, some people use fans to help cool them. They sleep better. Uh, I like keeping the window open, uh, of course, not in the winter. And uh, some people even leave their feet out of the covers and it seems to help their sleeping. So let's talk about the hormone that helps you sleep. It's melatonin. Having enough melatonin can help you fall asleep quicker. It can enhance your mood. It can establish better blood sugars. It can enhance your cognitive function. It can enhance your immune system. Melatonin is a powerful antiviral. It's a powerful antioxidant. So it's not just about sleep. And number six, it can help increase the quality of sleep and actually help you feel more rested. And really, there's just three big things that affect melatonin. One is darkness, keeping your room very, very dark. Darkness stimulates melatonin. Light suppresses melatonin. So you don't want any lights in your room. Um, also, actually, I lied. There's four things. EMF, electromagnetic fields, your cell phone, uh, the wiring that's next to your bed that's plugging your lamp in there or anything else you have plugged in or any recharger right next to your bed. You don't want to have that because that can affect your sleep. And then temperature. You want to be a little on the cool side. And last thing is stress. Too much stress can inhibit your melatonin. Actually, I'm going to add one more, and that would be vitamin D. If you're deficient in vitamin D, as most people are during the winter, that can greatly suppress your melatonin production. Before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof Your Immune System. It's a free course. I want you to take it. And here's why. Here's you. Here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself. And so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today. Hey, before